All right, guys, so I got to tell you about this pretty wild story, okay? A wild story involving a man that I actually met in person doing a Turning Point USA conference that I went to uh, last year in Phoenix, Arizona, okay? I went to AmpFest, and I met this guy by the name of Siaka uh, who approached me at this event because when I go to these events, you know, people recognize me and they say, hey, you know, I watch your channel. I love your stuff. And he was one of these guys that came up to me and he said, hey, man, you know, I watch your channel. I love your stuff. You know, he's from L.A. Uh, he told me about himself. He introduced me to his wife. OK, and, you know, he was telling me about all the plans that he has for the GOP out there, you know, in L.A., in California, which I'm pretty sure is a tough place to, you know, be involved with the Republican Party out there in California and uh, we exchanged numbers, okay? And we, you know, casually um, have communicated uh, ever since then. Now, um, the reason why I am talking about this story is because I happened to be watching Lady Ballers uh, the other night, okay? Uh, a Daily Wire movie that you guys should definitely check out. Uh, it's pretty hilarious. Uh, it was pretty interesting to see the Daily Wire actors uh, act in that movie, right? It was a funny movie. Uh, highly recommend that you guys check it out. And while I was watching this movie, uh, the announcer uh, doing, I guess, the basketball game or whatever in, in the movie um, was a black guy. And when I saw it, I was like, I recognize this guy, right? I know him. And I immediately thought of Siaka, okay, because he looked a lot like Siaka. And I was like, I know him. I met this guy at Turning Point, right? I'm pretty sure. So I immediately hop on my phone. And I text him and I say, hey, man, are you in Lady Ballers? <laughs> are you in the Lady Ballers movie? And he was like, yeah, I am in the Lady Ballers movie, right? That, that was me. And then, unfortunately, he went on to tell me how after going to the Lady Ballers premiere, because, again, he was in the movie, he was arrested at the airport by the FBI for his involvement in January 6th. He, unfortunately made a mistake of going into the Capitol. And the FBI, uh, after invading his home uh, a few years ago in relation to an investigation to, you know, I guess this guy, you know, going into the Capitol on January 6th, they didn't charge him, okay? They didn't bring any formal charges against him, but he has had a, a tougher time kind of getting around. But for whatever reason, they finally decided to arrest him at an airport in front of his pregnant wife. And he actually sent me the video of the arrest. Check it out. Now, you've seen that, you heard that. Now, I had no clue that, you know, Siaka uh, had entered the Capitol that day. Um, and, again, this story right here, again, kind of caught me by surprise because, one, I was surprised to see that he was in the movie. And then now to see that he got arrested by the FBI and now is being charged with J6 misdemeanors years later, okay, after having his home raided by the FBI, Again, it just kind of blows my mind and tells you everything you need to know about how the government continues to persecute and go out to people who were nonviolent on that day simply for just walking to the Capitol in ways that they don't go out to individuals who have committed way worse crimes in this country, right? All the government resources, the federal dollars that are being used to harass individuals who simply went to the Capitol and were nonviolent, even, again, after raiding the man's home, years later, they're still kind of going after people. And it just kind of blows my mind that this is what our federal tax dollars are being used on for stuff like this. But yet you have stories like this where you have BLM rioters, arsonists, getting $500 fines and probation for burning down a Wendy's, okay? So I want you guys to understand the two systems of justice or two standards of justice in this country. If you walk into 
uh, the Capitol peacefully, right? And you don't commit any acts of violence. The FBI will not only raid your home, but they'll put you on some type of watch list, okay? And harass you for years. And then eventually arrest you at an airport in front of your pregnant wife on misdemeanor charges, okay? But again, after years of harassment, okay? And also not to mention other, you know, January 6th, uh, protesters that are currently in jail, okay, or, you know, they're serving, you know, long sentences for simply walking into the Capitol. Um, yeah, that happens to you, okay, if you're a Trump supporter. However, if you're a BLM supporter, if you are a far leftist uh, and you burn down a Wendy's, okay, you riot and you loot in the streets, uh, you're going to get a slap on the wrist, a $500 fine, right, no big deal, okay, and you might get paid, right, you might get paid as well too, in which we saw some BLM activists get paid, because they got roughed up by the police while they were rioting, okay, rioting in the streets, being destructive, right, destroying property, actually being violent. Some of these people got paid. Again, that is the two standards of justice that is happening in this country that we're talking about, okay? And I don't think that is right that we have these types of situations and this type of persecution going on in this country so i want to read about this because then this is a pretty wild story and I, I definitely think that you know we should bring some attention to this los angeles based actor siaka masakoi was arrested thursday night at a los angeles airport on four misdemeanor charges related to his peaceful participation in protests in washington dc on january 6 2021 masakoi and his pregnant wife were returning from nashville where they attended the premiere of the daily wire's new film lady ballers so again this is him and his wife i met both of them um at turning point and um you know like i said they're a lovely couple okay uh they didn't seem like bad people or anything like that they just seem like freedom loving americans you know um it's kind of crazy Masakoi, uh, who ran for the California State Assembly in 2022, currently serves as the first vice chair of the Republican Party in Los Angeles County. He is also a red state columnist. Although the charges, uh, trespassing, parading, and disorderly conduct are misdemeanors, FBI agents took Siaka to jail where he was kept overnight until being released on a $1,000 uh, bond or at the end of the day, Friday. Massacre embraced his wife and supporters after being released from jail. Again, this is kind of a picture. You can see here he has a Jesus Save shirt on. Again, Ted's the type of man that he is, right? That these are the type of people that, you know, the government is, is spending thousands, if not millions of taxpayer dollars on harassing, right? When, again, you know, in, in my opinion, you know, I mean, look, you know, if you were going to bring these charges, um, you know, there is a video, okay, here of him being in the Capitol. Now, I'm not going to play it, but there is a video of him being in the Capitol, okay? And this video basically shows him just standing there at the door, okay, not being violent, right? Um, which, again, is probably why they didn't arrest him in the first place because they was probably looking at this like, eh, is this guy worth going after? Which, again, tells me everything you need to know about, you know, kind of what's going on in this country and how maybe just maybe this is some form of intimidation, Right, an intimidation tactic, right, to show that, hey, we're still going after, you know, these people who, you know, made the mistake of going into the Capitol. They had no clue that this would be the result of, you know, going into the Capitol in, in which, you know, in some cases people were just let in, right? And this is what we talk about when we talk about examples of people who peacefully uh, were in the Capitol, okay, who were just let in, who were just there. And we're using all types of crazy resources going after them, right? When, again, we've had left-wingers go into the Capitol, okay, and protest. And you don't see the same type of persecution happening to them. It's pretty crazy. On January 6th, Masakoi went to the Capitol after attending a rally. Video shows the extent of his involvement. Uh, Siaka's North Hollywood home was raided in June 2021 by about 20 agents armed and outfitted in tactical gear shortly before 6 a.m. one Friday morning. His roommate's two sons, ages three and seven, were at the home when it was raided. Siaka was not charged at the time and eventually filed a Bevin suit against the FBI. That suit was dismissed in August 2023. Yeah, so again, this probably has something to do 
with them eventually coming after him because, again, they he's argued that they violated his constitutional rights. Um, and again, this is what they do, right? They try to intimidate you. They try to extract revenge against you. And, and I believe that that's exactly what this is. This is what the FBI is wasting their time doing. Instead of going after, you know, real threats, they're going after family men who have a pregnant wife to take care of uh, and, you know, arresting them at airports. Amazing. The Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals said yesterday that if an actor whose home was raided by the FBI based on his attendance at the January 6, 2021 pro-Trump rally in the District of Columbia is to receive redress, it must come from the executive branch, not the courts, a.k.a. Biden has to do it. And we know that's not happening. And again, this is one of the reasons why Trump needs to win is because uh, Trump as executive, as uh, you know, President of the United States has the power to make this right. OK, and this is something that Trump has to do, uh, you know, if he becomes president again, is to make this right, to fix an injustice that is happening in this country when it comes to what happened on January 6th, the peaceful protesters, okay, who are being politically persecuted, again, in ways that if they were left-wingers, would never happen, right, you never see it happen in this country, again, this is why, you know, I get, this is why I, I gotta point out how weak the Republican Party is, right, you had left-wing protesters intimidating conservative Supreme Court justices in, outside of their homes, right, and attempted assassination, these people were following them into restaurants, okay, in order to pressure them not to make a uh, decision, right? In order to make them, um, you know, make a decision that they wanted. And Republicans sat by and did nothing, nothing, no threats of arrest or anything like that. Nothing. They just, they just like, oh, well, you know, they made a whole bunch of noise about it and did absolutely nothing, even though these people were clearly breaking federal law. But again, you don't see the FBI going after the Roe v. Wade uh, protesters slash rioters that again were intimidated Supreme Court justices at their homes. Again, you, you would think that the FBI would be raiding their homes, right? Like, I mean, again, these people went to Supreme Court justice home. They dock Supreme Court justice, put their lives at risk. But again, I, I, I haven't heard one story about the FBI going after those people. And it's all on camera. Again, that's the difference. That's the difference between Republicans and Democrats. And it's sad, it really is. A three-judge panel comprised of Ninth Circuit judges Morgan Christen and Jennifer Song and uh, Senior Judge A. Wallace uh, Tashima affirmed the dismissal of a Fourth Amendment claim by Siaka Masakoy, the first vice chair of the Los Angeles uh, County Republican Central uh, Committee, who ran unsuccessfully last year for the state assembly. Dismissal of his claims under the First and Fifth Amendments was previously summarily um, affirmed by a Ninth Circuit motions panel. After the raid, Siaka found that he had been placed on a secret government list similar to a terror watch list. Uh, back in 2022, Siaka told Bob Hodge about the process he and his wife had to go through each time they fly even before he was charged with any crime. Yeah, so essentially, he was treated like a terrorist at the airport, even though he wasn't formally charged with any crimes. Again, this is uh, guilty until proven innocent, okay? Guilty until proven innocent. At the Babylon Bees, South Dillon posted about Siaka's arrest. Uh, Elon Musk weighed in, saying this has gone too far. Reached at home Sunday, Siaka said, Quote, I'm grateful to Jesus uh, for being with me and my family throughout this unbelievable event. He took care of my wife, Charlotte, and me while we were separated. And I know his hands were all over uh, getting me back to her. It is heartbreaking and unfortunate for all that we are living in America like this. We are at a fork in a road for our nation and its future. I pray moments like mine and many others that have gone unseen will sober us back to the foundations of uh, what made the promise of this country great. Charlotte and I are so grateful for all the love and support we have received so far, and we will get through this with God's grace. Thank you for prayers and support okay so um yeah um you have the federal government the biden federal government um weaponized going after the political enemies right trying to intimidate them 
for suing them for violating uh, their rights. Okay, now his wife has started a give, send, go. Okay, a legal defense fund if you want to check it out. He's a Trump supporter, right? Um, this is what's happening to Trump supporters and the United States of America. Um, you know, clearly this is something that's, you know, definitely, you know, affecting them negatively. And I can only uh, imagine the stress that they're going through right now. Again, kind of crazy, right? This is this is the face of, of people who the FBI targets in this country, right? Also, you know, they're targeting conservative parents too, right? This is what our government is up to, guys, with our taxpayer dollars, okay? It's for his defense fund if, you know, you want to help him out. But again, this guy, you know, he was, you know, he made a mistake, right? And if, if the feds were going to, you know, charge him, they should have charged him after the raid. I mean, his own video if you're going to charge him, charge him after the raid. Why drag this on for years without charging him and then treating the guy like a terrorist every time he flies somewhere? And then eventually, after basically he sues them for, again, violating his rights, um, you know, now they want to try to charge him with misdemeanors, right, as intimidation tactic. Again, that, that's how our federal government works. This is what they're spending their taxpayer dollars on, right? This is what they're spending our money on, guys. Intimidating, peaceful family men who made a simple mistake of peacefully going into the capital on a day in which you know hey again you had some people that were just being let in by the police right so you know again it's crazy to, to cover stories like this but um you know hey this this is biden's america guys this is biden's america so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace